now bells ringing day nine. I missed you. I will never decline a wing waggle. Waggle away! <laughs> so, what are we doing tonight? Gearing up our weapons, collect a bounty and dock with flight assist turned off. We're not afraid of a few dents. Happy as Larry. Thank you to Ashley and Danny for being so generous. You got us off to a flying start. <laughs> Challenge Kate to fly around the docking ring outside. Yay! We are getting dizzy. <laughs> Can I get up to full speed? Nope. <laughs> I should Coco. Somebody's stolen the sun. It'd be good if you could name it, wouldn't it? Crucia Sector BBO A60. That's what I would have called it myself. It's handy. <gasps> There's Spinny Bow. That's where we wanted to go the other night. I'm feeling good about Spinny Bow. Flaps. Let's see what they've got. Zip. How are liquors worth more than that? Well, now we can say we've been to Spinny Bow. Don't go there. It's boring. Station is named incorrectly. Misrepresentation of the level of fun you're going to have in a system. What is it? Let's get out of here. Flaps. Never be it from me to turn away from a challenge. As long as it's legal, obviously. And fun. That is essential. Everything looks little in space until it's on top of you. <laughs> then it looks scary. We arrive en masse. They must hear we're coming and go, uh-oh. Snail bells ringing is on the way, guys. You're not going to get in my highlights video just because you rammed me. So I hope you enjoyed that little firework display courtesy of Lord Boulders. So where are we going to fight? Watching you. How very dare you. Inhibited by a mass factor of... Back up! Oh, we're not going to be extracting anything other than pirates. I did tell you that's what we were doing. You leave me out there on my own. Look at that. Oh, I'm being interdicted by a pirate. Should I let him have me? We're ready for you. Giles Harrison, clean. But he entered it. Under attack. Yeah. I'm wishing you hadn't picked on me now, aren't you? Target shields offline. You shot at me first, Giles Harrison. There is no point screaming like a baby. He wasn't a pirate, but he shot at me first. Should we go and do some giveaways? Brilliant. Oh. Interdiction. <laughs> Brilliant work today. I oh, had fun. Even getting blown up. A missile enema. That's it for tonight. Oh yeah, I remember. Happy Christmas. And we are into double figures. Slough bells ringing. Day 10. Thank you very much. Welcome everybody. Um, yes, welcome to another night of fun in Elite Dangerous in support of Special Effect. Um, this is a donations event, so hopefully you'll be able to donate. The guys will be posting the details to you in the channel right now. Now, I know a load of you have been piling in again. Um, all the old favourites are here. 146 in the channel right now. Um, and um, please be nice to your lovely mods. Barry and Fiery Toad at the moment. Anyone else arrived? Um, they are here supporting me, supporting Special Effect um, out of the goodness of their hearts. So do what they say, be nice to them and they'll be nice to you. Um, we've got some giveaways tonight and um, we'll be telling you more about those later. We'll do those at the end. What we're doing is we're looking to raise a total each night for Special Effect. You can donate on the um, page using that information there and that goes straight to special effect and um, I will tell you a little bit more about them as we go along but we're looking for a to oh there is one addition to the prize list though we had a request from Crowley he said no cuddly toy mm -hmm. this is a fox no it's a snow leopard <laughs> not a fox this is a snow leopard and I picked this little fella up in Kazakhstan when I was out there covering the Winter Olympics in 2014 it was actually part of the goodie pack that the media got not sure why but there you go that's on the prize list tonight a genuine snow leopard cuddly toy from Kazakhstan so lucky you <laughs> If somebody who lives in Australia wins that, then it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to send it, but I don't care. 
you are welcome. Okay, what have we got going on tonight? Let's turn off the journey. We know the journey commences. It's already commenced. We're off. We're off and we're running. What are we covering tonight? Well, now we had some information in from the wires. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, questions or information that you haven't managed to convey to me through the chat there, because it's a bit rapid over there, um, so I kind of glance over occasionally, then send me a Twitch message and um, I will deal with it tomorrow. And um, who was it? Commander McLaren did exactly that. And here's what he told me. Now, yesterday we killed, what? well, we were looking for a pirate. We couldn't find a pirate, so we went to an anarchy system, which has got no government, no rule. And um, we got interdicted by somebody who looked clean. Hmm. But then he started shooting at us. Um, but of course, seems logical now I know it, in an anarchy system, everyone's clean, because you've not broken anyone's laws who kind of is in control of that system. So he probably was a pirate, we just didn't know. And the way we can tell is by picking up ourselves a kill warrant scanner. Now, if you are in a system that is controlled by federal or uh, empire and you scan somebody and they're wanted in that system, you don't need a kill warrant scanner to know that. And that's why we knew a few days ago um, we, we got somebody as well um, in, in a, that was wanted in that system. But if you want to know, if you want to go into an anarchy system or you want to know in other systems what their status is, whether or not they've got a bounty on their head, they want a, you want a kill warrant scanner. So we're going to pick ourselves up one of those today. Um, and we're going to do the challenge cape from yesterday, which was kill a pirate and collect a bounty. The other one that we missed yesterday was Dock Without Flight Assist. So we got those already, and I'm just going to play you a little jingle. Challenge Kent. 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 So, <laughs> challenge Kate. Helps if you turn the microphone back on. Um, that was made by the lovely Dalla, who's in the channel with us today, I think, again. So thank you for that. It's much better than the one that I had made. Um, so if you've got any challenges, then throw them in the mix. Put them in caps locks over there so that I see when I glance over that it's a challenge. And um, I will endeavour to get to them. Um, the other thing that McLaren told me, which I thought was very interesting, you may not know this, some of you, um, we picked up some stolen goods, you know, we just scooped something that, that, that had been, you know, sort of illegally put into space for some reason, um, and it was stolen, and of course if you try to land in a um, Coriolis or a station that scans you when you go in, then you're going to get busted for that shenanigans, probably blown to smithereens, um, but... Apparently, if you go to one of the outlying stations on a platform, so you know the platform stations that you don't actually have to go into the slot, um, they don't scan you, and apparently there's very seldom sort of officials knocking around that far out um, in, in a system. So if you've picked up some illegal goods, then you can um, go and hopefully offload them there, or you can just jettison them, whatever you like. Um, and that's another good tip. If you've accidentally managed to pick up a bounty on your head um, in a system, obviously you're not going to be able to go into the space, a Coriolis space station. But again, if you go to one of the outlying stations um, and land without being scanned on a platform, then you can nip into contact and you can clear up your um, outstanding debts and um, thereby clearing your, your bounty. So that's a useful piece of information, I think, for everybody. Andy Kay sent me a message. He asked, when are we arriving in Slough? Um, for those of you that haven't been able to fly along with us and you just want to head to Slough, or we're going to get to Slough on the last day, which is the 2nd of January. I'm aiming to, on the 1st of January, we'll sort of get within the vicinity and do uh, you know a little bit of messing around there. And then when we kick off at seven o'clock on the 2nd of January, which is the final day. It's also Empire Day, which is a big holiday in um, Elite Dangerous. And um, we're gonna head uh, pretty much straight away after the introductions to Slough. And then we'll um, we'll just mooch around there, have a party, see what else we can do. Maybe we can have that docking circle competition. Um, I don't know, we'll find something to do. And there's a, there's a couple, couple of places we can have a look around and see what there is to see in Slough. So that's for the 2nd of January. So if you're planning just to join us for the arrival in Slough and the big Empire Day party, then head there for the 2nd. Um, right, let's get rid of the cover, cover now because we know that uh, that's done. What else have we got? Ah, yes. 
Commander DeLorean has apparently finally managed to get a frameshift drive that will allow him to jump to join us, so we should see him in the sky tonight. Um, Selazen, who is the creator of the RPG game, so ask him about that if you're interested. Um, he was asking how, you know, if there's any tricks to getting more, um, you know, more likely to be in the same instance as your friends. Now, as I understand it from what people have been saying to me, the more people on your friends list in an area, um, the better chance you have of being put into that area. So if you friend each other as well, you know, all the regulars who are always flying with me together, if you see somebody, um, you know, try and friend them, and then the more of us that are friended sort of as a, as a big conglomeration, um, the more people will hopefully get into the same instance. Um, so that will be good. Um, I'm not sure what I said. Oh, I'm going to check. The first thing I'm going to do is going to add some friends because I know some people have been asking to friend me. Um, we might get around if you want to. We can unident unidentified signals. So they are often apparently um, unidentified signals are often either people being naughty, so maybe somebody with a, a bounty on the head, or things to collect and of course they may be stolen um, but you can obviously go then and take them to a platform and sell them on the black market hopefully so maybe you want to do that to challenge me why don't you challenge me any more challenges coming in no challenges coming in um Sh Shanerai still is talking about war in Slough <laughs> Would be fun for Angel to arrive home and it's like sc scouching of the Shire. I don't think... <laughs> there's every chance that Lave Radio will have dumped a whole load of radioactive waste canisters in Slough, so I could be clearing those up for quite a while. That'll be quite enough fun, thank you very much. Um, right. Ah, but Shania, uh, I did have another tip. If, if anyone... You see on your radar behind you when you're in Super Cruise, any hollow rectangles on your rear end closing in um, that is likely to be well that'll be in my case actually it's probably all of you lot um, but um, if there's if I'm on my own and there's a hollow rectangle closing in on me then it's another player and they may be somebody who is trying to interdict me interdict with me so you know sort of like take a detour and if they follow you then you know you've got trouble um, so you can be ready for it and that's a good tip okay um, what have we got? Anyway, oh, repeat, challenge Kate, equip only mining lasers and collect a bounty on a viper or better pirate. Bottyman, I don't have mining lasers yet. So let's see if we get round to picking those up. I think I need to um, sort of um, bulk up my defences a little bit more. Um, and I'd like to get a beam laser as well because apparently they're sort of cut through everything a lot faster especially when it comes to the kill shot so when you've got the shields down you can you can sort of like blast through their hull with a beam laser so we'll see if we get to that um total what are we going to go for tonight i think uh, optimistic cyclops challenge to do a black box mission you earn nice money ah so what's a black box mission is it, I mean, what I've seen them, but what does it entail? Normally going and killing a pirate or something. Maybe we'll have a look at one of those later if we get to it. I shall put that on my list. It's very high tech. Yeah. Oh! Malfunction. <laughs> okay. Black box mission. Good. Uh, Shanerai, I ca challenge Kate to make five times her insurance as a buffer sum. Ah, I accept your challenge. Do you know why? Because um, I actually had a bit of a play today. Shall I hop into the game? Have I covered off all of the uh, paperwork? I think so. Yeah. Let's jump into the game then. And I will show you why I'm pretty confident about that particular challenge. Um, and that is because, if you have a look over here, um, I had a bit of a play today. A little bit of a, I actually spent far, far longer than I planned to and ran out of time on my meal, although I did have Christmas dinner Mark IV today. Um, so, yeah, I sort of did some, some nice runs around and um, earned myself did quite a lot of exploring and earned myself a nice little buffer of 86,700. So, that's tick. That challenge done. Um, what do you reckon? £150 tonight? 
for special effect. They're a brilliant, challenge, uh, brilliant charity. They help people who are not physically able to play video games because of illness or, or um, injury, um, because their bodies don't work as you know the way that they, that they should to use normal controllers. They help them um, adapt systems to enjoy gaming on a one-to-one -one level with their friends and family. So um, you know, brings a lot of happiness to a lot of people, and they are a very small charity, and every little penny counts. So, so far we've raised £3,000, close to. We're sort of like, we're about, um, I think we're £8 under £3,000 on my official toss-up, but my official toss-up for the first eight days doesn't include the gift aid because that went onto the um, special effects site and it was harder to add up. So... You know, £3,000 already, that's an amazing total, far more than I ever expected. So let's shoot 450. 33 total already tonight. That is brilliant. Um, and everyone's saying black box missions are somewhat lucrative, it's true. I cheated, Shanera says. Uh, gaming with Ian, tip for Kate. Um, combat. You can just hold the fire button down for lasers and kinetic weapons. Yeah, I did wonder that while I was nursing my bruised <laughs> fire finger today and editing my um, uh, editing my clips. I was thinking, hmm, there's an awful lot of tapping going on there. So, um, yeah, I hope I remember. In, in the ins excitement of battle, it's, it's hard to remember everything. Um, right, what else have we got? Um, yeah, that's it. So, this is what I did. Ah, and that's the other tip that I got from um, Chris. So Chris Booker, who's one of the authors of the um, uh, anthology short stories, he told me a good tip, which again, you know, it seems really obvious when you hear it, but um, he said, when you're um, looking for trade routes, if you go to the map and you um, say, for example, we're in a refinery um, at the moment and we've picked up a load of metals. And we know from um, going to the uh, lists that people post, um, somebody sent me one of those, I actually went to the wiki. So I've gone to the Elite Dangerous wiki to see who trades what where. And so I know from that that if I've got, say, a whole load of Indite, Indite sells um, at a refinery. But if you want to get a good price a really the best price on the indite then what you want is you want to find a refinery economy but you want one that hasn't got an extraction economy because the extraction economy is the ones who pull the indite out of the um rocks right so if you look for a refinery and extraction economies this is on the view tab you need to change it from realistic to map and then you have these drop downs um, that allow you to search by various different filters so um, we've got high, um, we've selected an extraction uh, economy and a refinery economy. So we're looking for a refinery economy, but we're looking for a refinery economy without any extraction economies close by. And there you are likely to get a much higher demand because there won't be a regular supply from their own local traders. So that I thought was an excellent tip and I was trying that out today and it works. You can, you, you know, you get a much, uh, much better, you know, even on the sort of for medium and medium demand, you'll still get a higher price on your medium demand than you will if there's a, an extraction economy right beside the economy that you're trying to sell to. So excellent piece of advice, Chris. Thank you very much. Um, as a treat, I might, might play you the beginning of his, uh, his short story later on if you're interested. Um, okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> so I've switched between my screens over there and I couldn't see you for a minute. I thought, where have they gone? Oh, you're still there. Phew. Um, okay, can you hear me? Can you see me? Is everything all right? Everything levels all right? I think I've kind of got it sussed now. Um, Chef Zam is saying, I challenge you to have a fleet of ships with at least 20 ships. <laughs> That's one for maybe down the road a little. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that tonight. Um, and then Shanere, a good challenge from Rowan to smuggle some goods using silent running. We haven't even looked at silent running, have we? I'll tell you what, save these up for, for tomorrow because we've got a lot of challenges at the moment to get through. Um, we're going to pick up a war kill warrant scanner. Um, yeah, we've got a lot to do. 
So what I suggest we do is we start doing it. That would be a good idea. So let's first go to outfitting and see if we can pick ourselves up a kill warrant scanner. I'm presuming it will be on one of these. I think... Um, do I need to swap something out for it? Hmm. Oh, I wonder if my paint job has, applied, has arrived yet. No. Aha! Yes, it does! There it is. There's my new paint job that I bought today. Ta-da! So, I am now Orange Ignition. You should be able to spot me a little better. So, well done, Frontier. I sent them a ticket about mm, five hours ago. And they've sorted that out. Okay, there we are. Um, so, oh, <laughs> we were doing something else, weren't we? Um, where can I get... Is it a hard point? Kill warrant scout, there we are. So, do we want... Do we need an expensive one? Class D, scanner incorporates rules on communication. Which one should I go for? D0, E0. What class of ship is this again? I guess you're going to catch up with me in a minute, aren't you? Um, okay. Should we get some point defence as well? How many spots have we got? Oh, we've got a chaff launcher. I must remember that <laughs> tomorrow. So, cheap one will do, they're saying. So... Cheapy, 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 kill warrant scanner. There you go. Buy that. Confirm that. And now when we scan people, we will find out. Oh, I need to actually put it onto one of my um, fire groups. Let's do that now so we don't forget. Fire groups. So presumably then, if I put that onto... What should I put it onto? Which button shall I put it on to? Or should I do different fire groups and then... They all take 10 seconds to scan, apparently. So, um, not really a problem. Do the ship with the cheapest possible setup and fly the hull of gold in Kamandra Rock. Mmm, okay. Have it on its own fire group. You can add a third one. Okay. That's good advice. That came from... Or well, secondary on group two. Yeah, I could do that. Or I could just... I'll tell you what, I'll just put, do that. And I'll put it on one so I can point at them and just sh pretend I'm shooting, get in the mood for it. And then I will know whether or not I can really shoot at them. Um, okay. So we're, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to nip in and see if there's any new friendlies that have uh, asked for friendship. And that will help you to join us tonight. Buck Rogers. Hatchy is on the naughty step until we know whether he can be trusted. Steger. So you two are added now. And if you add each other as well, um, as you see each other, then you will find that, um, hopefully, that you will have a better chance of being put into the same instance as each other. Now, here's the thing I did as well. I thought I was clever. When I was on my way back here for tonight, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll just have a look on my video and see what it was they wanted that's on sale here. And so I did that, and I filled up my cargo hold with mineral extractors. Mm -hmm. And I got here. <laughs> they don't want any. <laughs> they're... they're full up with mineral extractors for some reason so let's just see if a miracle has happened and they've suddenly no but well, they're looking for couriers it's only 400 credits we don't get out of bed for 404 credits um, so let's go into the commodities market and see if by any miracle no they haven't changed their mind. They're not keen on our mineral extractor. So I'm kind of interested to, to maybe see if we can find somewhere to sell those mineral extractors. I'm just going to have to switch windows over here on my chat. Mineral extractors. Go in. Sell in. Extraction economies, which we're in, which is a bit weird. 
but that's what this says this uh, wiki the elite dangerous wikia.com says we want an extraction economy um, why can't I buy your uh, TL1974 says why can't I buy your book in the Kobo web shop Kate not all of us use a Kindle you should get your book onto as many web shops as possible um, we can definitely send you, um, it's, I think it's a dot, um, EPUB is it, the Kobo? Um, we can send you that format, so that's not a problem at all. Um, if you want to send uh, me a message, I'll put you in touch with my publisher. Unfortunately, um, we, it is a small publishing operation, you know, and we're, we're, we're kind of new authors, and um, it takes a little while um, to get everything set up and all of the stores set up, and these people take a large kind of chunk of the profit, and there isn't really any profit in it for the publisher um, to speak of. At the moment, we're working to get the audiobooks all done, because when we've got five audiobooks done, then we can be, be put on Audible, and that's a, that's a rule that they have. We can't be go on Audible. The publisher can't put stuff on Audible until he's got five things to add. Um, and luckily, there are five books, but um, they're not all ready yet. Only two of them are. So um, yeah, we can definitely get you sorted out with a uh, with an EPUB version for your Kobo. Just uh, send me a message, and I shall hook you up with my publisher. Um, right. Okay. So what are we going? We're going for um, <laughs> totally forgotten. Stop distracting me. It's an extract, right? Yes, of course. It's a mineral extractor, <laughs> so it would um, come from an extract or go to an extraction. So let's see if there's any extraction economies nearby apart from this one, because in this one apparently they've got. Oh, it's a refinery. That's why. So let's have a look then. What extraction economies? So how about we take a little run out to Finty? And um, or ooh, Ambiates, Finty. Let's have a look. Oh, we can't look in Finty. How far is it? Let's see. That's just a few jumps. Are we on fastest or most economical? Let's try again. Right. Three jumps. One, two, three. Let's do that then. And we're off. And whilst we are travelling, I can tell you a little bit. I've made a ton selling my map data, I have to tell you today. Just just doing the sun. Most suns I've come across haven't even been explored. Um, okay, let's go for it. Let's have a look over here. Try to find an extraction station. Ah, okay. Well, maybe we'll have a quick look when we get into space. Let's just get off this floating hunk of metal without upsetting anybody. So I do believe, was it here, that um, Ship released. Engines engaged. somebody got blown up <laughs> for forgetting to request <laughs> flaps? Yes. Let's not do any of that today. No blowing. Oh, that's a good start, Kate. Ridiculous. For those of you tuning in for the first time, one of the purposes of this uh, Twitch stream is to oh look at you all, is to make you feel better about your own abilities <laughs> at the helm of your cobras, vipers, sidewinders, and such like, because. I am just learning myself. Look at you, who's that? Let's. Oh, stale cams. Should we scan and see if he's got. Uh, now, let's have a look. Let's just scan him. What's he doing standing there looking at us? So, we're, are we scanning him? Oh, yes, we are. Look at that. Scan, scan, scan. There's a little arc. Scan, 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 scan. He looks a bit dodged, doesn't he? He's harmless. Okay. How are you all, Commanders? I'm just going to get a little bit away from the station so I don't clog up the airlock. And I'll turn around and have a look at you. Let's put my hard points away. Yay! Okay, let's see. Who we, we got? Commander Bograt. <laughs> Good name. Um, XLG47 is there. 
Commander Ulrich Octavius is there. Give me a little wing waggle. All wing waggles gratefully received. Um, as are donations to special effect. And when we have Commander Dala, hey, my jingle creator, created G. Oh, who's messing with my rear end? What do you think of my new paint job, guys? What do you think of my new paint job? Um, who have we got? Eagle System Authority. And we're causing Target a bit of a ruckus out here. Offline. Whose shields are offline? Commander Crowley? Are you upsetting the blooming police already? Impact. <laughs> Target shields online. You guys are frightening me. Stop it. <laughs> okay, let's jump into the map real quick and just so we want an extraction um, station. And actually we couldn't um, we couldn't see. We didn't have any data on that. Um, we can't look at the star system. So let's just go to Fintian and on the off chance that they've got an extraction platform. Um, right, give you a nod, give you a flash. Who's that? Is that, um, that looks like it might be, um, Commander Stuart Forgey. He's my PR officer. He's keeping an eye on me, making sure I don't cause any trouble by getting. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Look at that. Okay. Does anyone feel sick yet? <laughs> I do. Stuart Forgey, you're supposed to be making sure I behave, not encouraging me to be reckless. I think I'm going to have to have a well look. Somebody's got the same paint job as me. Commander Belstarian. Good taste. Look at all these ships. This is very cool. Um, okay. <laughs> so Crowley says someone bumped into me. Okay. We know accidents happen when we're around, right? Can't think why. goodness mm. <laughs> right oh oh Whew. you people <laughs> just calm down <sighs> I think we better go before I get into any more trouble <coughs> oh I need a drink <coughs> <coughs> right we're sorted now, where is that? S mm, where are we going? <laughs> um, are we still locked onto it? We're probably not, are we? Or maybe we are. We are. How handy. Right. Oh. Mass locked. Drive now, remember, you naughty people, not too far, not too close behind me when I'm charging my frame shift drive. Because, um,. If you do, you slow me down. You create drag. Four, three, two, one, engage. <clears throat> right, that's better. <laughs> that was exactly the wrong moment to take a drink. <laughs> ah, now I learnt as well, don't try and fuel people for these pink ones because they're very hot. You don't even get close enough. <clears throat> but we can discover it. Quickly, whilst we're here. Just hook onto that. Sit there and explore it. Let's have a quick scan. Oh, I need to get my change my that one. D scanner. 14 new astronomical objects. See, I think it's worth having a quick see there. Yeah, look, there's loads that are really close. I'm not like up for <coughs> travel. 
don't even know what I'm doing. I'm not up for travelling miles. But um, if there's something right here, it'd be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? And I seriously made a lot of cash doing this earlier. There it is. So we'll grab that one. And there's a few more within reach around here. And then we just need to turn in before it... Oh, hopefully you lot will all keep jumping and won't know this is what we're doing. <laughs> you, can, um, you can clear the way. <clears throat> Make sure there's no unexpected surprises waiting around the corner and just pick up a few exploration credits <clears throat> oh, I'm still a little bit shaken are you going up to here? are you going to do yourself? do you want a hand? call on then she wants her hand <clears throat> hang on a second say hello oh there you are Right. Where were we? I explored. That one's right on top of us. That way. Don't need to go any closer to that sun. <clears throat> Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Whoever just buzzed me and made me choke, I hope you've donated <laughs> to special effect. For your penance. You can get that one really easily as well. Oh, <laughs> so easily. It's just a question of pushing a button. Ah, yes, yeah, so special effect. Seriously, every single. Someone shooting at me? No. Seriously, every single pound counts. Proximity, though. I don't know what I'm approximating to. Uh, seriously, every every pound counts for them. So even if you can only give two pounds um, to um, on the Just Giving page, every little penny counts. And when we hit uh, 150 pounds, we will unlock that giveaway bundle. Oof. I might be a bit close to that sun. Uh, we'll unlock that giveaway bundle. And you don't have to have donated anything to be included in the roll. Yes, we're heating up, aren't we? We should probably get out of here. We are heating up. Let's see what else. That one's getting closer. Let's have that one and then we'll head on. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that at the end, and I'll explain that at the end, but anyone who's in the channel is interested in the items, cuddly toy, can roll on the items with pleasure, just for being here and supporting us and supporting special effects. Anything else in the immediate? Well, let's see if we can get that one without going any closer to it. It's just there. Ah, there it is. That's the one we want. Scanning. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's horrible that, isn't it, when you get... <laughs> Drink goes down the wrong hole. <coughs> oh! It's quite... There's quite a lot of people around here. I hope they're all my friends. I love that we turn up en masse. <clears throat> people flying everywhere. Stephen Taylor has come online. Another person in my friends list. Okay. Let's blow this joint. We have got some machinery in our Bring cargo bay. That is going pretty much rusty where it is. So we want to offload it. <clears throat> to somebody. Three. Two, who can make one, use of it engage. and hopefully he has an oiling can or a can of oil or whatever do they what does the world come in anyway plastic bottles probably polymer okay let's do a little bit of scooping oh going a bit fast fuel scooping 
Give me a little scoopy scoop while we're here. Let's keep that fuel gauge topped up without having to spend too much time doing it. It is a bit boring, isn't it? I could get closer and it would be more exciting and also more productive. Head look. Yep, there she is. Big fat sun. The orange ones seem to be the best ones to use. And for those of you, I'll, I won't keep explaining it, but just in case you're new to the channel, I think I have a reasonably good way, method of not getting into too much trouble when you're um, fuel scooping, and that is the orange number on the bottom there. I want to keep that at, a, at you know, once I'm happy with my temperature, apparently you can go up to about 130%, but <clears throat> I don't really like doing that. You can go up to 150% without causing any damage. I don't like staying under 100%. But for me, if I'm at around, well, it depends on the heat of the sun, but you find a, a distance, um, and the, the higher that number, the bottom number is, the closer you are to the sun, because you're basically increasing your fuel scoop per second. Um, so you find a number that gives you a temperature that you're happy staying at, and then you just need to, if, if it starts going down, then you're going away from the sun, and if it starts going up, then you're going towards the sun. So now I'm going towards close to the sun, so I just nose down, and now I'm going slightly away from the sun. So once you get it to a, a number you're happy, if you just keep nosing up, then you can just keep circling the sun um, without getting into too much trouble. That seems to work for me. I'm not saying I'm a pro, but I have been known to scoop a few suns in my time which admittedly is only about 10 days, so let's get out of here. Where is that star system? Ah! Our destination lies ahead. Friendship drive charging. Do that, I'm going to burn my nose now. Mm. Oh, well, I do have some... Uh, I had another big Christmas dinner today, but I, I've got some emergency chocolate stars if we get hungry. And hopefully, well hopefully they'll have something, at least something for us to go and see and do. And then when we've got, when we've got rid of this, I think what we should do, when we've got rid of this cargo, is um, maybe go and investigate one of those. Um, what have we got? Station, stations. Boucher. Boucher Freeport. Let's see. Well, I suppose what we could do is we could just check, couldn't we? Let's check if one of those is an extraction platform. Controlling fra fraction, refinery, and extraction. So they're both refinery extractions. Um, this one's got commodities, this one hasn't. So let's not go there. Let's hope that they have got an interest then <clears throat> in our um, which is Boucher Freebot, right? So we've got that on lock. Let's hope they're going to take our mineral extractors because they will turn out to be a bit of a white elephant if not are you all there already you probably are aren't you let's have a look thanks a bunch guys oh hey oh. <laughs> we got people saying they're gonna make donations oh. <laughs> oh, one new astronomical object discovered. Whilst we were almost crashing into another astronomical object. Maybe that's the one. Is that the one? Let's just have a look. Mm. You read not to, really, wouldn't it? Mm -mm. Unexplored. 18 milliseconds! It is, it's that one, isn't it? Let's get you... Oh, look at that. 
Let's explore that sucker since we nearly rammed into it. And then we'll get into that space station. There we are. It's an anarchy. Uh oh. There may be trouble ahead. And also behind. And to the left and <laughs> to the right. There's trouble everywhere in an anarchy system, basically. Especially when we're in it, apparently. We crashed Twitch yesterday. Go us. High five for that. High five for that. How many in there today? 276. Rack and Fiery Toad's brought his friends again. That's brilliant. So, <clears throat> if you all, if, if, if half of you give two pounds, we'll do 400 quid. That would be unreal. You could completely blow me off my chair and send me into another fit of coughing if, um, if that happens. Request Stop stocking. Request Commander Dala, Commander Pot, Jean Bellow. Oh, was I too far away? Or is it just full? I suppose better not crash into it. Stocking oh. request denied. Busy. Busy port. We know that now. And we're not. <clears throat> we are not afraid of being denied entry. If need, denied. if need be, we will force our way in. Docking request denied. I shall throw farm machinery at you from a great Docking distance. Denied. I might have alcohol. Docking request denied. Mm. I'm trying to be a pirate. Docking request denied. Mm. Um, you look nice today. Docking request granted. So shallow. <laughs> right, let's get in. Before anybody else causes me to choke to death. <laughs> Are we worried about me then? <laughs> I was. Honestly, this journey would be a lot less exciting without you not here. <laughs> And to be fair, I'd probably still be trying to get out of play. Yeah, I know. Scam detected. Ah, so this one scammed me. So it's not all. Maybe it's just the outlying ones. That's why it's an outlying. So like the. If perhaps if we went to the other one, the unpopular one, they might have. They might have. Uh, they haven't got commodities, but they could have a black market. That could be why they're kind of like. You know, they live on the wild side. Docking successful. Let's Engines hope. disengaged. Let's hope they're going to take our mineral extractors. So I don't really want to carry 28 mineral, mineral extractors around with me for the rest of my life. See if they'll buy my map data. No. Nothing. But look, 3,000, just from that quick explore that we had, when we get far enough away. Let's have a look. Do you, by any chance, good people, want to trade in mineral extractors? Oh, you have a vague interest. 97 profit. Let's just see. Have you got anything worth buying? So maybe I'd be better off hanging on to those and seeing if we can pop over. They haven't really got anything interesting to buy, have they? So why don't we just, I'm just have a quick look on the bulletin board. This might have been a wasted trip. Is there anything I could do if I had space in my hold? No. Nope. Okay. So let's see if we can maybe find a, a destination now. Still looking for an extraction, but let's see if we can find somewhere, perhaps, per chance, that gives us a system map to begin with. No, how far is that? It's not far though. Should we try LT2863? This is what we shall do. 
and with a bit of luck and that will have a decent price on these ear machines what are you guys saying to me ouch rough landing um Matt, mj allardy that really rough yay. yay who's that commander fuzzy hello oh no that's commander fuzzy that's commander delorean by the way oh commander delorean welcome 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 about bloody time we've been waiting for him for ages oh. um do ask commander mclaren <clears throat> for the link perhaps commander mclaren can you post the link in the chat for your um google plus uh you've got a um he's got a photo album of screenshots from his perspective so obviously <laughs> Why would, he have, why would he have a photo album with screenshots from somebody else's perspective, Kate? The answer to that is he wouldn't. Um, <laughs> but yeah, post that link. That would be cool, because there's some really nice pictures in there. I wish I'd had my nice orange fiery paint job at the time. Perhaps we can Photoshop it on later. But yeah, my... Um, my landings have got a lot better that whoever it was who said it was a bit of a hard landing you should have seen the first day now those were some hard landings ah so we need a cro so as soon as we get this um mineral extract is gone let us go another white sun let us go to um I, oh, can I have that going to have that oh am I too close oh, yeah, I'm really too close what am I no that's okay they're not that hot the, the white ones because they're um they're just being born I think they're just beginning to coalesce so sorry I'm blinding you all aren't I do you want me to turn that light off for a bit while that's going on? Um, right, now let's carry on our merry way. And our path should still be mapped in. There. Okay, Kate, concentrate on the task at hand. In other words, Looking where you're going. Ready to engage. Um, what we'll do when we get to this station first, it's 7, 7.53. 4, 3, 2, 1, engage. So sh when we get there, let's, um, let's have a quick video from Special Effect, um, just to give you a bit of a, more of an idea about their work and why um, your donations bring so much happiness to people. We'll have a look at one of their case studies, and um, that will give me a chance to. Ah, you see, there you go. Is that something? No one ever gets the suns. No one ever gets the suns apart from me. I shall be known as the conqueror of the namer of suns. Pink sun hanging in the middle of unexplored space, ignored by those who pass you by. They just come to scoop your fuel. I name you. Crucis Sector CQP A51. You can thank me later. Right. Here we are. This is the next stop. So, yes, anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by myself. Friendship drive charging. Let's friendship drive charging. Oh dear, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get. I learned that yesterday. You don't want to go into hyperspace taking heat damage because you continue taking heat damage. <laughs> you need to let your temperature Friendship drive charging. Um, so we'll do that, and then we'll come back after a quick video, and um, if we can find a Coriolis, we'll try. Parking Engage. with flight assist turned off. It's going to be easy. I have a feeling. 
I am knocking these challenges off one by one. And we are in the star system we're aiming for. I know that because the um Um, I know that because um, when I landed there was no longer something automatically selected on my compass and um, therefore we know this about journeys when you get directions and the directions are over that means you're there let's have a look Chris Randport let's go there on a wing and a prayer <clears throat> still got a bit of a frog in my throat. Do you know what? I'm not going to do fuel scooping whilst you're here. It's ridiculous. It's such a ridiculously bad waste of your time. I don't mind wasting my time, but I don't want to waste your time. Who wants to see me sit there going scooping? No one. So I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna fill up with cash. We're feeling a flush. Right, people are talking about 4K monitors. Yes, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Gotta run. Gaming with Ian. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Fenris Wolf. Ah, sweet poetry. Muffled laughter and choking on drink. <laughs> that is not going in the highlights. Unless it's a challenge. <laughs> Somebody pays a donation <laughs> to special effects. I might put me choking to death on my wine <laughs> in the highlights. But otherwise, it's just be our secret, okay? Tisserand port. Four lights in a row. Four planets in a row. So you've got three moons? It's a planet with three moons? I think it might be. They are very fixed together, those things. I would imagine if I turned my orbit lines on, I, we would see big circles going around them to indicate. If you're wondering why I don't have those on, it's because I don't like squiggles all over my nice pretty space. So you can turn them off on, on also in your uh, right hand console. Is that inside the rings of the planet? It's a bit inconvenient. We can't go through the rings. Well we can go through if we're not in super grooves but if we if we go barreling into those rings in super grooves then we will um, be dumped out of super cruise unceremoniously. Look at that though. Screenshot. That's pretty. Um, it's a strange place to put a space station. Ah! Oh! It's mine. Yes! It's exciting. Um, yeah, I guess it must be an extraction platform. Why am I not exploring it anymore? Yeah. wonder what it's called. Bob. Be funny if it was, wouldn't it? Be a bit strange. LTT two eight six three one. You are mine. You are coming home with me, baby. Where am I? <laughs> Hang on. Not that way. Talk Kate. Behaving like a fool. There it is. Yeah, can we go really close to this and skim? Yeah, that has to be an extraction because there are lots of extraction sites in um, in uh, the rings, planetary rings, asteroid rings, ice rings, whatever. Good place to pick up extractions. Um, and so I'm quite confident 
that they're going to want our mineral extractors. We will be glad that we hung on to them. The sky pretty. One to one scale representation of the known galaxy and then um, the rest of it is imagined by is it procedural generation they've used on this game as well like they did the first game oh too fast but that's okay because we're gonna get that that's a moon so it's it's orbiting the moon and i want that moon that moon is mine let's not actually go into it though kate not stop I'm not I can't completely stop in um, super cruise I guess so let's get a little bit of distance from it oh we're stuck in it's bloody gravity now come on there we are Is that gonna be more friendly Right, let's have this moon. We are just collecting chunks of cosmic material. Giving it names. Yeah, nice. Oh, the Empire will be pleased with me. Now, let's finally get to this port. Can you stop distracting me now, please? Where is it? It's back over there. Yeah, it's around the other side of it, isn't it? Nope. It's there. Safe disengage. Follow me. Handy. So, I guess you guys will have already got there and filled up all the parking spaces. But we know how the SysOp responds now, don't we? Compliments. Hmm. She's having a good day. Is that me on top as well? The premier spot. Perhaps. Landing gear no. deployed. That's two. That's no good. Look at you all. There's so many of you. It's just brilliant. Just brilliant, as long as you don't cause me to <laughs> joke on myself. Oh. Oh, what's that? Head look. There you go. We can turn around. Oh, there's two again. Back up. I reckon it's that one up there, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Who's that? Somebody. Oh. Does that scare you? Scared me. Scan detected. And they've scanned Scan me as well. Detected. All, right, Scan detected. all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Jesus. I feel electronically violated. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing today. <laughs> I'm all a flutter still. Why is I stuck? Scan detected. Hang on. Maybe that's not my spot. Have I come down the wrong spot? No, I was right. I don't know which way it is now. I think it's probably the other way, isn't it? It was definitely my spot. I'm sure it was. But this happened as well before, didn't it? where I think it just bugged. That 
should give me no I reckon we've got to go back up oh there's no one behind me because I'm coming backwards good okay well let's just um that happens sometimes sometimes it bugs out and the way to fix that is you nip into contacts speak to them and say your docking bay is broken docking request granted thank you and it's the same spot which is handy hope it's playing ball this time that's better they obviously saw me coming in at a really squiffy angle and thought uh-uh no nah. she's not docking here docking successful yes. engines disengaged right are you going to take my mineral extractors from me? See? It's because I don't want to make you wait. Um, let's just have a quick look. You never know, maybe the bulletin board has got some... Frustrated employees seek improved... No, they want HE suits. We might have been lucky and it, it might have been... Um, for, oh, let's just quickly, before anyone else does it. Map data. Can we sell any? Yes. A thousand. Yes. Now, commodities. They have a low demand. But we're going to sell them anyway. It's still... It's a profit, at least. I'm fed up with carrying these bloody things around. Now, let's find a Coriolis station. Let us... Uh, oh, no. So, let's do a video first got rid of those that's there we've now got nearly 90,000 credits um, I don't think we need that much more in the way of upgrades just at this particular minute so I am going to park here and play you a video so I'm just switching out of the game now and I will play you a video so this is Becky and this is um, one of the uh, case studies from special effect and you'll see from this, it's not just about gaming, it's about, you know, the, the ability to play and be creative. And it's something that we really take for granted. You know, if you're able-bodied and you've got an able-bodied family, you really take for granted just the joy that kids have of just making, you know, a creature and, and having it come to life, modelling it in, in clay or plasticine. And so um, what Special Effect did was they got together with a local firm who do 3D printing and um, they helped Becky become a creature creator. So enjoy this video and I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Special Effect is a charity that was set up to enhance the lives of people with severe disabilities through creativity and the opportunity to play using cutting edge technology. The Eye Sculpture Project was designed to enable people who wanted to create sculptures to be able to do so just by using their eye movement. The project would not have been possible without the help of our friends at Mondelez International. One of the games that uh, Special Effect help people to play is a game called Spore. And within that game people can design, develop their own creature to play with within that game. And it became apparent that this creature can be imported into various engineering systems and eventually made as a real thing that people can hold, touch, look at. This one was designed and developed by Becky. It was lots of fun creating her. I couldn't do it with my hands, but I can access sport with my eye gaze. I love doing art and crafts, and I love making things. We managed to get the files out of Spore, convert them to a format that the printer and our CAD systems would use, and then we squirt the file to the printer, and hey presto, we print out a 3D model of the creature. The 
support structure is then taken away, either by breaking it off or dissolving it in a solution, uh, which leaves us then with the model. We use it for producing prototypes for coffee machines, but it's much better to make models of creatures. Thank you for printing my sport creature in 3D. It is fantastic. I love it. I think I will call her Kelly. So there you go, everyone's doing their bit, local businesses, um, and I know the guys at Special Effect work really hard, um, you know, they are completely dedicated to what they do and very passionate about it, so if you can support them by giving a couple of pounds, then that would be amazing. Okay, what is next? Turn off the VLC player for starters, we don't need that kicking in unexpectedly. <laughs> We've got enough going on that's completely unexpected without that adding to it as well. Um, what are we going to do? So that's what we're going to do. I think, what we, I think we should do, I think we should nip into the map and we should see if we can find somewhere local with a Coriolis station um, and find out what kind of economy they are and then see if we can't buy some stuff that might please them. Um, so let's just go back onto the normal map view so we see everything. And let's have a looky see. Where do we fancy going? What sounds like a good name? Ipomodo. Ipomando. Let's see what's in there. Maybe they'll have. Oh, it's a very pink system. <laughs> well, it's got a Coriolis though. That's a, no. That's a. That's not a Coriolis, is it? That's a. Um, that's a, a ring station. Um, I saw a station called Love Ring earlier today. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Conf trolling faction. Do we want? To, it, will that count? If I if I dock, it's still rotating, won't it? Will I dock? If I dock in there, kind of a long way out, but it's it's a very pink system, and I kind of like the look of it. So let's go there. <laughs> Um, what have they got going on? So they're industrial. So an industrial economy wants... What does they want? They want industrial materials like polymers, semiconductors, superconductors. So I will jump in here and just see. Let's just... Um, oh, we should, have, we should have marked it. Where was it? Ipomodo. There it is. We should put a marker in that so that we don't... Well, let's let's plot a course to it. Let's just say that's where we're going. Fastest route, two jumps. And um, now we will jump into... They are... Mm, refinery. was refinery wasn't it they're saying yes Kate yes it was it oh no industrial industrial so they buy we want B we want the green so they buy industrial and write that down industrial they buy machinery and stuff like that. So let's nip into the commodities market and see what these guys have got on sale of that nature. Have they got any machinery by any chance? No. So they're an extraction economy aren't they? So industrials should want, actually industrials should want because they need stuff to make things with don't they? Let's have a look. No. Yeah sell to them, sell to them. So they want things like gold, copper, aluminium, beryllium, and that looks like what these guys have got. 
gold, copper, aluminium, beryllium. So, aluminium, beryllium. It's got quite a nice. So we get a few beryllium. Three, four, five. Oh, hang on. One, two, three. We'll just get five of those because they're quite expensive. And what else? Lithium, maybe? What's their price on lithium like? That's reasonable, too. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. And then we'll get something a little bit cheaper. And that would be copper. Lith oh, we've got lithium. Titanium, maybe? That's quite a good profit on that. Titanium, they usually want that as well. Okay, we've got three more spots. Four. Beer and wine? No, they've got demand for it. Everyone's got demand for it. Let's face it. Let's just fill up with... You want gallium ever? No. Tantalum? Let's just get three coppers. Cargo okay. At the maximum capacity. Let's go and see how they feel about us then. Good. I feel like this is going quite well. I might reward myself with a chocolate star once we're going. Ship released. Engine oh, engaged. Look at you all. That's brilliant. Switch back to the chat here. Look at you. Oh. Let's have I'm going to get hold off for staying here. See if we can do a quick Target scan around. Offline. You've got no shields up, Commander Potty. Careful. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> we. Who else have we got? We've got Commander Jack Nova. Jack Nova is in my book. He's the one with the same... Um, He's the reporter Target in my story. Target shields offline. Target shields online. Who else? Commander Fuzzy is there. Commander Pot is there. Commander Jean Bello is there. <laughs> Somebody else is buzzing me. <laughs> Yay. Commander Thraz is there. Commander Team Kill is there. Who else have we got? Let's go over here and get you. Scanning. Commander Sweet Amber is there. Commander Jack Nova again. I want to get you. Yeah, you. Commander Fuzzy. Brilliant. <laughs> no. <laughs> you tried to make me joke. All right, let's get out of here before we cause any problems. <laughs> Flaps. <laughs> You crazy lad. Whoever that was, it's a good job you're a good driver. That was a bit close for comfort. <clears throat> there we are. Let's go to the pink place. Am I going to get mass locked again? Frame shift drive charging. Uh, it's not too, too close to the station. Time for a chocolate star. I got these when I went up BT Tower for a Four, cocktail three, soiree. Two, one, engage. Mm, I don't know. Okay. Mm. So, are you all on holiday still? Is everyone off until next week, I guess? I can't believe how quickly it's gone. This is our tenth day. We've only got four days left. 
You know what that means, don't you? Sun is mine. Mind a pot All whizzing off. <laughs> he just stole my target. There we are. That's mine. Now, back on our way, we need to go. Oh. Excess mass. Jump excuse me. Oh, was I not? Did I miss a did I miss a uh, a stop on the route? Hang on a minute. What's going on? Right. Just get safe from the sun. Why not? Why can't we go there, everybody? Oh, I plotted the course before moving my hold. But of course. So I can't go there. Unless I... Ah! I have to go there first. That's okay. We can do that. We are not in a hurry. Frame shift drive charging. Not today, anyway. Yes, we planned. Thank you, Millstone Barn. I um, I planned before I filled my hold, and then I filled it with very heavy stuff. So I have only myself to blame, really. Wait, one unexplored. No, someone got there before us. God damn it. There we are. That's where Friendship we're drive charging. Friendship drive charging. Mm. Yeah, I can't believe how quickly this two weeks has gone. Ready to engage. Three. Two, one, engage. Although in some respects I can't believe how much fun I've had. I feel like I'm a teenager again. Okay. So there's only one space station. It's quite a long way out. Let's just head there. And whilst we're cruising, can you just see if there's anything worth exploring? Nothing. Yeah. That's okay. 6,748 light seconds. So it's going to take us a few minutes to get there. Talk amongst yourselves. Actually, I'll talk to you. How about that? That's even better. Um, tip from Filmo123. When you arrive, check the bulletins for demand on your cargo before you sell it normally. Yep. Because there may be something, a, 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 um, there may be a contract to go and buy them something that you have to have got. Especially when you're doing what we're doing, which is planning ahead um, with your cargo. Uh, the Simsoid says, I think Kate wants to be Queen of Slough. Well, actually, my character is very much against the whole um, Angel Rose, who's the protagonist in my book. She doesn't like all of this sort of like the, the titles and um, uh, pomp and circumstance. Her father is the station captain of Slough Orbital, and her mother calls herself the Lady of the Station, Morgvana. Um, but Angel hates it, and Angel just wants to be a trader and um, much to her mother's chagrin because her mother's sort of like, oh, you should be growing your hair long and being a lady and finding a, a nice husband. 
And Angel Rose is just like, no, I'm an independent woman. But she's very moody as well. Very, very moody. And she gets everything wrong. Bless her. So, yeah, do the inception sound. The inception sound. The inception sound? What's the inception sound? That's from uh, Shanerai saying, what are your long-term goals in Elite Dangerous? Um, I don't really have any long-term goals beyond getting to Slough. Um, I just want to carry on having fun, you know? I'll keep going at one thing until I'm good at it, and then when I get too good at something, I get bored of it, so then I'll try something else. So who knows? The galaxy is quite literally my oyster. What are your long-term goals? Does anybody want to decide what career path they want to take yet? Um, fiery Toad. Friendship drive charging. A picture has been posted. I'm going a little bit too fast. That came up on us quickly, didn't it? Probably going to overshoot it. There's a surprise. <laughs> oh, there's an unidentified signal source. We thought we might have a look at those, didn't we? So we can we can fulfil a whole load of missions here, of um, challenge Kate's. We can la I'm going to offload my cargo before I land in the um, without flight assist turned on. But once we've done once we've offloaded our cargo, we can pop out, pop in again with flight assistance turned off, and you can all have a good laugh at that. Um, and then we can go maybe and, and investigate one of these identified signals and hope that we find somebody there that has got a bounty on their head. We will scan their little asses. We will scan their little asp and um, kill them, ideally, not the other way around, and collect the bounty. And then that will be a whole bunch more challenges in the can. What else have we got? I think that's it. Hmm. By the way, if you're keeping an eye on Just Giving page, our we finished the total we finished on last night was. Hang on a second, I'm not going to look over there to tell you just yet. Right, we finished last night on a total of five hundred and seventy-two pounds and twenty-nine pence. So that will allow you to easily um, calculate where we are at with our total. Has anyone had a chance to look there lately? see how we are doing let's get docking permission docking request granted docking permission number one the correct way of doing it except for the fact that we all arrive together and all pile in together and some of us forget to ask for docking permission and then they get blown up um, other people accidentally, so they say, bump into me. <laughs> Gonna have to start sending people to the naughty step. <laughs> they do that too often. Oh, body. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realise they were. I thought, I thought they were, um, you know, just lights. I thought they were lasers. <laughs> I just smashed their advertising hoarding. Oops. Frozen my space. Frozen my space. My space is there. That's what it says. No. Huh? Is he pointing me to me at that one? So I don't necessarily always understand. I'm just going to go up here and turn around. Ah, there it is. Ha ha. Go back a bit. I hope no one's behind me. Is it on again? 
Sometimes they just disappear, don't they? Sometimes the lights go off and there's nobody at home. Is that it? Ah, did you see? It's not, that's not me, is it? That definitely was Dodge. Landing gear not deployed. Flaps. Landing gear deployed. Docking successful. Right. Engines disengaged. You people. I think I might go inside just in case. If one of you crashed into me whilst I'm docked, what would happen? Oh, my hair just got caught in my glasses and it's pulling. Ow. Quick, sell my maps. Ah, not far enough away. Bulletin board, do you want anything that we've got? No. Personal weapons. So, we'll just go to the commodities market. And hope that we got the right stuff. We've got a medium demand on lithium. We'll sell that to them then. Nice. Titanium, low demand. But it's still it's a bit of a profit. We do not want to try silly... Look, they're beryllium. Ah, and that was a big one as well. How much are we going to make on our beryllium? So, 1,000 per beryllium, and we picked up four of those, five of those, 5,300 profit. Brilliant, and we've got an empty hold for now. And we've got 100,000, our first 100,000 credits. Ramon Moret. The guy who made my um, intro video, the you know the slough, um, he wrote the story the easy way out, and his story starts with his uh, protagonist um, arriving at a bar to celebrate his first hundred thousand credits made as a trader. So we've just made a hundred thousand credits, our first longer coming than it should have been I fear right let's get up get undocked turn off flight assist and then try and dock no idea what that's going to do none whatsoever it's a mystery to me complete mystery and um, I'm sure some of you have a good idea ship release engines engaged maps Right, who's being shot at? Oh no, I hope it's not one of you lot. I hope it's not one of you lot out there tangling with station authorities. This is someone stuck. It is, it's all players, it's somebody who's stuck on the entrance. Not that I've got a morbid fascination, but I kind of want to see what happens now. Scan detected. Oh, did I miss it? Is it too late? No, they're still there, look. Who is it? Daniel Bow is just going in. Andre Askey is just going in. I don't know. Okay, let's just get a little bit of distance. Give ourselves some breathing space. Oh, still got my landing gear now. Retracted. Oh, it's 
This is not the station, so we know where, where we're going. Ah, oh, it was already locked. So what is flight assist going to do? Not having flight assist. Well, we shall see, I suppose, won't we? <laughs> Here we go. Mostly penniless, mostly aimless, still harmless. Functions. I know I can bind it to a um, hold input mode. What does that mean? I know I can bind it to a. Ah, ah, there we are. No. So do I need to bind it to a. Um, I need to bind it to a key then, I guess. Bind it to a key first. Um, yeah, let's check. I have got enough insurance to cut. Yeah, I've definitely. I've got. My insurance is 3,600, so the worst that can happen is we just lose some of the profit that we just made. But we'll have a lot of fun, and hopefully, people will feel sorry enough for me to donate um, lots of lovely. Look at that. Tom Crancy's wanted. And people are firing at him. Should we fire at him? We'll probably get into trouble. No, it's a no no fire zone, isn't it? Um, okay, so I just need to nip into um, my controls and bind flight assist on off. I have a lot a lot of these I haven't um, bound yet because I just haven't got around to using them. Look how many things there are. <laughs> Too many things to control. Um, Flight miscellaneous. Disable flight assist button. Um, yeah, do you know what? I could do that. If I if I stick it on... Hmm. That one. Ah, right. Toggle. Toggle or hold? I guess toggle. And then what is the uh, flight assist button then? Where would that be? Miscellaneous. UI focus, quick comms, head look. Have I gone past it? I must have done. There are too many things to control. Targeting. Disa ah, there we are. Disable flight assist. All right, so let's just. Stick that. No. No, that's not what I want at all. Let's just go insert and presumably that will put it back on again will it yeah okay so I put I bound that to insert now and let's go in oh <laughs> hello <laughs> hello there whoever you are Commander Pot, is it Commander Pot? Anyway. Hi. <laughs> so I've turned off flight assist, have I? Flight assist off. Flight assist on. <gasps> flight assist off. Flight assist on. Okay, so that's because I've got it on toggle, isn't it? So I need to go in and put that on to... Uh, I've got it on hold. So if we go in and do it toggle. 
you're probably shouting at me about now that that's what I should have done. Flight miscellaneous. And we want that on toggle. Okay. Like pause menu, a resume. <laughs> so you. Oh! <laughs> I thought that was me. <laughs> Flight assist off. Flight assist off. I'm not even going to see how it feels. I'm just going to. Well, it's going to be very wibbly, isn't it? Docking request granted. Right. Get out of my way, you lot. Oh, it's really, really wobbly. Okay. Just relax. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not going to be possible. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> Wow, that's fast. <laughs> mm, no. Okay, let's just get away. Let's get some distance. Let us get some. It's all over the place. Right. Just floating like I've got absolutely no control whatsoever. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Am I going backwards? It's I can't even go forward. I'm getting further away. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Why am I getting further away? I do not understand why I'm getting further away. <laughs> I'm not meaning to, I'm trying to go forwards. Right, boost. <laughs> I'm just floating around in space. <laughs> I can't, I'm not even going to be able to get... Look at the space dust, what space dust? I am, I am at full throttle forwards. There we are, now we're going forwards. My only chance. Let's take it at speed. I hope there's nobody in the way. Well, <laughs> that was predictable, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, you win on that one. There is not a cat's chance in hell I'm going to be able to do that. Blimey! Again, why would they even have it in the game? You very strange people. Right. We buy all. Confirm your choice, your old loadout. Confirm, yes, 3,600. Cheap at half the price, but you know what? <sighs> there goes my 100,000 credit bankroll. Thanks for that. We now have 96,366. 
oh well but we have our life um we have our friends we don't have very much dignity but <laughs> we have a glass of wine what more can you want how are we doing <laughs> no i got rid of fresh squeeblets i got rid of my cargo i sold it all i sold it all i knew kind of that that was probably going to go not so well um, and now we've got a full tank of petrol again so let's put flight assist back on though do I need to put it on now do it when we get out there oh <laughs> will it be automatically back on or am I going to take off from this space station and find oh, I can just go hit re yeah insert really quickly right so mm. <laughs> What's the? What are we doing? I'll tell you what. Um, I'm gonna have a quick catch up with you over there. So we, can somebody go and run and fetch the total from the Just Giving page? See where we see where we're at. Um, what I'm going to do. Uh, it's on by default. Good fresh squeeblets. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Danny Boy one one two one X says docking using flight assist often is easy. Just imagine that you're on the A4 and turning onto the Slough Trading Estate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Shanere, I hope Kate has protected no claims. Uh, probably not, actually. I would imagine that they would have. Um, hold means it will only be disabled whilst you hold it down. Toggle works better. Why would you ever want flight assist turned off, though? I'll tell you what, I'm going to play you a quick something because uh, I need to relax a little bit after that. And um, I'm going to play you a very quick. Um, how about how about you listen to a very quick advert from Lave Radio, our sponsors? Not really, um, but they're brilliant. If you haven't been to see uh, been to listen to Lave Radio yet, go and uh, check out the website. They do a podcast uh, following the development and um, issues inside and around Elite Dangerous, and they're brilliant guys, very funny, and they do these brilliant uh, faux adverts. So I'm going to play one of those. I'm going to turn off my camera and um, and, and microphone. It's about minute and a half two minutes long I'm just gonna collect my thoughts and when I come back we will um, we will see if we've got a ah 732 okay I'll add that up thank you 732 I'll see how much we're up to then we'll go out and we'll kill a pirate and then we'll do some prizes I think that will be pretty much us on target for the night so hang fire there I'll be back in a couple of minutes Are you thinking of suing over Missile Python Protection Insurance? Had an accident in an airlock or slipped in a space station cargo bay and thinking of suing for compensation? Well, don't. Try to take my ship commander to court for making fertiliser out of my crewmates. Legal fees have left me with nothing and now I'm hungry. All the time. At One Prittany we take small print very seriously. We have a massive team of lawyers just waiting to block your case and ramp up your legal costs. I wanted a simple, no win, no fee arrangement. My case got blown out of the water by Watt and Brittany and now I have to rent out my arse for hydrogen fuel. At Watt and Brittany we have a saying, if you don't want a beating, stay out of our court. I was savaged by a wild creature whilst fixing a vending machine. Can't I claim compensation? No you can't because we have a massive team of lawyers and you're just someone who works for a living. What and Brittany? Don't even think about it. Space can be lonely, but sometimes that's just what you want. Choose your holiday, the gas giants of Alioth. Partying the night away in your Philon Aquila. Or even go back and find your ancestors on Earth. The Rockforth Corporation makes your holiday special. And will let nothing disturb you. So there's more of that and a lot more besides at lave.com. So go and have a listen to them. Okay. Let's get back into... Oh, I was going <laughs> to... 
completely forgot what I was going to do. I'm going to make my little calculator out. So we're at 7.32 currently. We started the evening at 5.72. We are at 160. So we have smashed our target for today. That unlocks the giveaway bundle. And we will do that um, in about... Gosh, it's 10 to 9 already. Let's go and see if we can quickly catch a pirate. Let's not put anything in our hold. <laughs> Let's just accept that it might go badly. Um, right. There's some love going on for Lave Radio in the chat channel right now. Let's head for an unidentified signal source. And we will... Um, explore it, investigate it, pop out of hyperspace and see if there's a pirate for us to kill. And hopefully there is. If there isn't, we may save that for tomorrow because we've, to be fair, we've already had one big, big explosion tonight. So... Ship released. Engines engaged. We'll see. We'll see what we will see. Who's that heading towards us at some speed? Jamie McDonald. Hmm. He's got a clean nose apparently for now anyway catch up with you later my NPC Kate Russell has had a very spotty career she's been whoops it's alright that didn't hurt that did not hurt <sighs> bit too much ex Oh, so we just need to cruise, don't we? We need to cruise and find an... And I saw a couple as we were kind of like skimming by. So maybe we'll be lucky and come across one. I don't know if you guys will be able to stay on my tail. You might want to just stay here because we're going to come back here to do the giveaways. So... Ah, you know what though? I'm going to sort my pips out before I do this. If we go for... What do we reckon? Should I go... How many should I put in weapons and how many in shields? I'm going to go like that for now. <laughs> so, yay, shield scraping. Um, yeah, I'm pinging. Something is pinging. Shall I go to the nav beacon? Well, it's quite a long way though, that's the only problem, because it's a long, long way. We'll do that tomorrow, but I will, um, I'll jump into hypercruise. I'm just going to do this quickly. We're not going to, we're not going to spend a lot of time, because it's nine o'clock already. Frame shift drive charging. My frame shift drive is inhibited by a factor of 12 people following me too closely. Yep. Here we go. I don't blame you. Stick, stay close. Stay close, everybody. Let's go and find an unidentified signal source together. We're just going to go to the closest one that we see. In this direction. <coughs> Still suffering from my choking fit earlier. Ah, weapons, engines for dogfighting. Okay, adjust required during the fight, i.e. weapons engine for dogfighting if not taking damage. Ah, okay. Good. Good advice. So I shall just start with it um, like that. And then we'll see what we see when we get there. Thank you very much. That was Marcus Corvo explaining to me Four, three, my pips. Two, one, engage. Right. An identified signal source. Where are you? Should we head back towards the sun? Because that's where we were going. Okay, in frame shift, slow down to 30 kilometers per hour and then flip to the navigation panel. USS points pop up quicker. Hang on a second, what was that? Oh. Uh, Fenris Wolf says, in frame shift, slow down to 30 kilometers per second and then flip up to the navigation panel. Um, ah, yes. 
Right. So... Unidentified signals. There's one. There is one. We have got an unidentified signal source and it is behind us. Good advice, Fenris. Thank you very much. Here it is. Our unidentified signal source. There's <coughs> loads of people flying at me. It might be you lot. <coughs> might need to find a better spot for my for my um, power distributor button if I've got to use it in combat because it's on the front of my thruster there which is not so convenient to get to. I guess that's why the default is on the thumb. See I moved that and I will see how this goes and I may well put it back there. you lot will have managed to find this with me. So. Scan detected. Clean. What's he doing hanging around here though? Up to no good. Is he? There's some other things over there though. Let's see what they are. Michael Ellis. Novice. Currently clean. Yep. He is clean too. Oh, Commander. Oh, these are guys. You're all me. <laughs> so, what was this unidentified signal source, we think, Commander Potty? Did you enjoy being scanned by me, whoever I scanned this then? Ah, the hollow squares are real players. There you go. I remember that now. Get some of these triangles in our sights. Jean Bello. Well, we don't know what this signal source is about, do we? So far, oh, somebody firing at me. Commander Huin, hello. <laughs> it's just us flying around in space. Yay. All right, should we finish on a mass sort of fly around? Let's just zoom around here for a bit, see if anything interesting pops up. Lively, federal. Oh. How will they feel about being scanned, do you think? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> they, they deployed their hard points. Fine, I'm just I'm just trying out my new scanner, that's all. <laughs> what do you mean now? Alright guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> I've upset the cops. Let's get back to the space station and do some prizes. Cannot comply. Oh. Of course I've got my weapons deployed. Scan detected. Who's scanning me? Friendship drive charging. 
Let's just get out of here. Oh. Let us just get out of here. Because <laughs> Surge detected Commander Potty is off. He is out of here, and so am I. <laughs> Before I get arrested again. Um, I'm speaking in character from a book, by the way. I've never personally actually been arrested. I've never done anything to warrant being arrested. Only in games. Chocolate star. Whilst I wait, because there's rather a lot of drag on my behind. I don't know who it could be. Do you ever get the feeling people are following you? You're being watched. Eyes on the back of your head. Four, three, two, one, engage. The last ten days or so, I've had that feeling a lot. Right, so we've got that to do still. We still have yet to find a pirate to kill. But we'll do it. We'll get there. Got what? Four days left? Easy. Well, you can't really can't count the last day because we'll be partying in Slough. But we have a good three days left. And Slough's not that far from us now. And we've got some money. Got some credits. Got some nice gear. Okay, some some nice gear, not like all nice gear. Maybe we'll have a look at what we can buy to just... Um, no, we should just spend money on trades. Let's just really concentrate on earning some money, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Let's decide tomorrow. Let's just do prizes now. Why am I even thinking about tomorrow? Tonight's not over. We had one explosion, though. Maybe somebody would like one day to challenge me to um, get through a night without getting exploded. That would be a good challenge. That would be a challenge I would like to try and fulfill. I hope they did. Oh, hang on. I hope they haven't heard. <laughs> Commander Flaps is there. Quest stocking. I hope they didn't hear about our little tangle with the Navy out of that unidentified signal source. Let's not smash into their advertising hoardings now. This time, eh? Let's not do that. Let's just... Scan detected. Do you find sometimes, when you're sort of trying to get proficient at something, you get to a level and you start like feeling like you've really improved, and then suddenly you'll just have like one day where you just <laughs> you just are completely rubbish at it again, randomly for no reason, and you'll be like, what happened to all of the stuff that I learned? My brain just defrag or something. System failure. No. Who was that? Who was that? Somebody ramming me. Nope. It's a good job for you. We don't mind that kind of stuff. You cannot spoil our day. Probably an NPC. Oh, it's probably that naval officer's mates. Somebody's getting shot at. Where are we going? Thirteen. Ooh. Unlucky for some. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's 
put off flaps. Who's getting shot at? Landing gear deployed. Oh, whoever's behind somebody's still trying to make into me. I don't know what's going on. What I do know is that we're doing giveaways in a minute. And so really I wish I could look behind me now. <laughs> Engines disengaged. Who's being blown up? My head look. Oh. They're just a bit trigger happy in this station, aren't they? They were firing off at no one when we came in as well. Federal Security Service, I'm hit, I'm hit. Oh dear. Someone is firing at the Federal Security Services. No wonder they were a bit dodgy about me scanning them. Um, right, that's it, isn't it? We haven't got anything we need to do. Let's get into the hangar. Yay. So, here's the deal. We now are going to do a, um, a giveaway of the gifts that have been um, posted in the channel throughout the night. You don't have to have donated to Special Effect in order to participate in the role. Um, just be here and indicate your interest when I ask you to by typing three hashtags in a row um, for uh, to, to sort of put yourself in the role for that particular item. Um, I will go over there and do that in text chat because it's a lot easier to interact with you uh, in real time rather than 40 seconds behind um, through the stream. So I will post the item in caps locks and say show your interest now. You do hashtag hashtag hashtag. You have to do that exact phrase because it's a machine thing. So I can't say oh it was almost right we'll roll him anyway. If you don't put that exact thing then um, you won't be included in the roll. I'll say closing in 10, closed, then I'll roll and then I'll tell you who's got that item. Only one item please tonight. Uh, if you've won an item a previous night then it's perfectly okay for you to roll it and win again but um, only one item per person per night is the deal. Um, and um, if you are lucky enough to uh, get one of those giveaways then send me a message in Twitch with either your email address if it's uh, an electronic product like a, an ebook or an audio book and if it's or a pdf and if it's a physical product like postcards or a physical book then you need to send me your postal address obviously after this twitch stream series finishes on the 2nd of january i will then bundle all those up and send them off to the people who are very generously fulfilling those um uh, those gifts so you won't get them until after christmas after the new year um, so please be patient um, but uh, and if you forget or you haven't got in touch with me I am also recording all of the winners names on a spreadsheet so I will be in touch with you after um, January 2nd as well to make sure that we get the gift to you so whilst I get myself set up here when I finish there I'll come back here and say goodnight to you whilst I get set up here I'm going to play you something so I will play you a bit of the question question of intelligence so this is one of um, the audio books I'll tell you what I'll do first. I'll play you a quick um, special effect gamers charity. It's just the, the one and a half minutes of so just explaining what they are. Then I'll go into the audio book. And while that's reading, I will come over here and I will um, uh, administer the giveaway with you. So thank you very much tonight. Over £160 raise. Um, and that doesn't include gift aid. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys digging deep again and again and again. And I know that special effects are completely blown away by your generosity. So um, well done you. And you well deserve the uh, gifts that I'm about to give away. This is a cuddly toy. It came all the way from Kazakhstan with me um, after I was co there covering the Winter Olympics in 2014. Yes, she was. So that's the cuddly toy that shall be mentioned soon. Um, good luck, everybody, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Charity Special Effect. We're a UK based charity helping people of any age, of any disability to enjoy themselves and to express themselves through cutting edge games technology. 
Many of the young people we help can't run around and play in ways that the rest of us take for granted. With our help though, video games can offer a great way for them to have fun and join in with their friends and family. Reese and his dad love football. Our assessment team managed to find a perfect way for them to play together on FIFA soccer, quite literally putting them on a level playing field. Everyone we see has different needs. Charlotte's a four-year-old girl who lost all four limbs due to meningitis. The Wii controller was just too heavy, so our technical team modified it so that it was just one-third of its original weight. Special effects made me a control company to play PlayStation, which I never thought I'd do. I couldn't use a normal controller because I couldn't reach any of the buttons. Some people find it very difficult to control any part of their body apart from their eye movement. Tiago, for example, is able to play Peggle just by moving his eyes. But the demand for our help is growing all the time. To help more disabled people get as much out of games and leisure technology as you do, please visit our website. Question of Intelligence by Lisa Wolfe, read by Toby Longworth. The lady dropped out of hyperspace and Chinoa immediately began checking for possible threats. Finding nothing, she scanned as far as she could towards her destination before jumping closer. Once she could distinguish the planet itself, she cruised on normal engines. Finally, the station appeared on scope. Sooner than she expected, it resolved itself from a dot into a large dual torus. Citadel was the name that had been chosen for this luxury station, back when it was new. Now it was showing signs of the century or so that had passed since it was abandoned. There were a few of the navigation lights still active, but she wasn't getting much in the way of electromagnetic readings. Still, right now she hoped there was at least one life form on it. Dad. If he wasn't, she had no real idea where she might find him now. She tried hard not to think about only his body being there. Genoa brought the lady to a stop and brought up the comms. What took you so long? Brianna's voice exploded from the speakers. I've been worried. Sorry, love, Genoa answered with a hint of contriteness. I had to make sure this was the right system, and I had to be careful. Since when are you careful? Is he there? Brianna switched topics. Not obviously. I'm not getting anything back from the transponder, even this close. This is where it screamed from, though. Here, or in the station. Which does exist, by the way. I'm not picking up much of anything, though. I still can't believe you. If I hadn't planted that tracker, we wouldn't have a clue where he is. I know, but... But me later, love. I need to find him. I'm going in. Well, be careful. You know me. Oh, just be careful, Chen Chen. I love you. I love you. Chenoa cut the comm and sighed. She felt guilty enough putting that tracker in Dad's ship without Brianna's admonishments. But what else could she do? His piloting was getting worse and the way he decided on a moment's notice to go legend hunting meant that she never knew where he was going, or if he'd come back. She had to do it, for his safety and her peace of mind. She double-checked the scopes before aiming the lady's nose at the planet. She angled between the planet and station until she could face the docking entrance. One of the doors seemed to be missing, while the other hung at a strange angle that would make this entrance a little tight. Slowly, carefully, she brought the lady in closer, matching the rotation of the station. As the lady neared, she flicked on the lights, which, for a moment, illuminated only the dark, pitted metal of the skewed door and surround. Then, the nose entered the opening, and the lights danced over twisted, damaged facilities. Docking had changed a lot since this place was built. It was mostly open, with berths ringing the central point. There didn't seem to be one of them fully intact. She also realized that there weren't going to be any automated aids. Excitement surged as the lights caught the distinctive sidewinder shape of Rockhopper, Dad's ship. That quickly faded as she realized that it was now barely more than a frame. That's why the tracker had stopped sending and responding. The trained part of her brain 
ensure the lady was fully within the station before she released the controls to let the ship spin freely. She breathed deeply, trying to calm herself and get the rest of her brain working again. Habit made Chinoa check the local scanners, which had picked up heat signatures in the immediate area, about the right amount of heat for suited humans. She chewed at her cheek as she watched those signatures move, fading in and out as structures blocked their radiation. Her father might still be alive. If these people stripped his ship, he might be their prisoner. She focused more on those heat signatures, trying to push other thoughts aside. She couldn't actually get a visual on them, so they were probably hiding. She had to try to make contact, but there was no way she could leave the lady unattended. Not with what happened to Rockhopper. Do. Don't think, she growled to herself. Her hands moved, and she matched the spin of the station again, before urging the lady towards what looked to be a substantial piece of birthing tube, which was not far from her father's ruined ship. Docking off centre in a rotating station without the standard aids was difficult. She switched off the fly-by wire and her fingers danced over the console as she used the thrusters individually to move to one side. Her gaze flicked between her instruments and her destination. Her entire body tensed as she eased closer and closer to the tube. She rolled the lady while applying the vertical thrusters to track her destination. Her wing bumped the docking tube and she started as she instinctively hit the magnetic clamps. She let out a shaking breath and cut the thrusters. Close roll. Algy Khan wins. Algy Khan wins. And pop Algy Khan's name in the spreadsheet. Hit save in case it all goes belly up over there before I do. Um, that's it. Congratulations to all our winners. Bivard, I hope you're feeling better. Um, and happy birthday, Quishers. Wow. Actually, I know Bifford is feeling better because he's now singing Cliff Richard, um, presumably to Bif uh, to Quishes. Happy birthday. Thank you sp for spending your birthday with us. God damn it. That's amazing. Um, yeah, so it looks like we are well over our 150 total for tonight, which means that we are way over, uh, creeping up and up and up towards £4,000, which would just be beyond my expectations and... Um, yeah, and I know that uh, Special Effect are very, very grateful indeed. So thank you very much for your challenges tonight. Tomorrow we still have to find some ruddy pirates. Where are they? Where are the bad guys when you need them? Um, so we'll do that tomorrow. We'll go and we'll find some pirates and we'll kill their asses. We'll kill their aspses and their sidewinders and their vipers and whatever else we can get our hands on. And um, we'll collect our bounty and then um yeah email me kate um well tw through twitch send me send me that email if you've got any ideas or thoughts about what you want to cover tomorrow or indeed advice that i can share with people that i have missed in your wonderful chat tonight so now i think i might go back in the game and have a little play so i don't know if you guys are hanging around i've got to do a few social posts first but Thank you again so much for your generosity of spirit, generosity of time, and generosity of wallet. I will see you right here again tomorrow at 7 o'clock.